Another hurricane about to make landfall in Florida. Right. Oh, no. Yeah. We need these weather weapons, right, Menace? Uh, yes, please. Uh, they keep on talking about all these weather weapons and how they can control the weather. Right. Oh, yeah, uh, that's, that's true. Control make it. rain. Yeah. yeah, think about that. Like, okay, yeah. so don't make you think... Make it rain. Don't you mm. think if... Like we had the the ability to control these things, that like the would. government or whatever, they would have like you know controlled it. Yeah, uh-huh. like it would have rained like hell in I, Maui. It would have. I do think it, that. It'd yes. be pouring no. down rain on California during fire season mm-hmm. and uh, Louisiana. And They're withholding them. They no. would just turn this hurricane. It's like coming yeah. toward Florida. Yeah. Where are the weapons at? Yeah. Where are they at? But no, the conspiracy people say that they do it on purpose for certain reasons, oh. like the lasers in Maui and, right. you know, la- yeah. stuff like that. Lasers. <laughs> and they, they let it happen. They let everything burn for some, yeah. you know, reason. As much as I laugh and goof on all the conspiracy theory stuff, like, some of it makes so much sense. Some of it does. <laughs> Please yeah. don't say that after I said the laser thing. Not the laser <laughs> thing. No, that stuff is ridiculous. The flat earth thing is ridiculous. There's so many of those so ridiculous. <laughs> But then every uh-huh. once in a while, it's like, oh, okay. Well, then, you know, they always say, like, the truth is when you follow the money. and Right. You yeah. know, and then you see, like, that doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Like, how the, how's that possible? And then you follow the money and go, oh, that's how it makes sense. So, yeah. I mean, are all the conspiracy theories wrong? No, no. There's no chance. They're all wrong. But is there one but, big one that we all didn't believe and it got And it became proof? true? No way. I don't know. No. I don't think there is. I can't answer the question because I don't know. You know, like know. so many things I don't yeah. know. Except for Bigfoot. We know that's real. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. That's what Menace has been saying. Well, they had that big, you know. There's so many acres or miles of oh, un- there's, there's so, so much forest. Forest and, that's unexplored. Well, they had the big Loch Ness, you know, thing yeah. over the weekend. Didn't find it. Nothing. No, no. Underground caves, Ravy. Didn't. Everyone yeah. knows okay, that. Okay, but there was like thousands of people out on the lake. Did they yeah. go in the caves? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, Costco is apologizing after a recent batch of their Kirkland vodka had a weird smell and taste to it. Weird. People complaining that it tasted like a multivitamin. That's not a good taste. No. So, uh, no official word on what happened, but Costco says that while it's okay to drink, they admit it did not meet their quality expectations. Yeah, the Costco expectations of quality. Uh, Just like their chicken salad. Shut <laughs> your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> There's no quality yeah. control there. <laughs> The Kirkland brand is usually pretty strong. How dare you? How dare you? Your well, how dare you tell the truth? I know. That oh. stuff would work better than the stuff that you have to drink for your colonoscopy. Okay. That will clean you out. Great example, right? At least the colonoscopy stuff has flavor. Uh, <laughs> right. There's no word, uh, but uh, they say it could have been tainted by a bit of rum. Oh, uh, really? Because okay. it was put into a container that previously held rum. But yeah. maybe wasn't completely clean between uses the way it should have been, and that gives it a and so that vitamin could, taste. Yeah, that well, rum has like it. a sweet taste to it. Uh, in any event, Costco they're offering refunds to anybody who can show that uh, they had one of these tainted bottles. Okay, yeah, you're just a Costco hater. Yeah. No I, I, quality just, control, no, yeah. Costco. Uh, I am stunned. Yeah, just drink, drink half the bottle and say this one's tainted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're just a Costco hater. Yeah, yeah you and are. And I will continue to be. Yeah. Costco's the best. It's busy. Oh, there's too many people <laughs> it's there. It's too stressful. <laughs> yeah, wow. Costco sucks the root. No way. <laughs> and their products suck. Okay. What? Yeah, okay. They're, no, they're known for being terrible. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Go, you're yeah. absolutely right. Yeah, I do agree about the stress factor, though. <laughs> like, and people who go to Costco ass. have to go to Costco. What? They need a gallon of mayo. <laughs> what? Because they have 40 about? kids, and they're all in the Costco with them. Talking about? Yeah. I'm just being You're honest. tripping. Just never being in there. You just don't being know. a hardcore truth teller. I've had, <laughs> oh, I've okay. had two experiences in Costco. Ooh, too two? Too oh, really? Wow. They were horrible. Remember the one? I just abandoned the cart. Bye. But, but why? Like, what was so horrible? You can't navigate it. Some place that's that right. big. What? And there's still that many people. You can't park. Oh, yeah. You know it why is, they're all there? Because it yeah. sucks. It is. It's a, <laughs> basically a war zone. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's basically like Ukraine. <laughs> okay. It is the worst in there. You can't navigate wow. it. You what can't. What sounds crazier? All the lasers <laughs> uh, in Maui? Uh, or 
or this? Yeah, Ravy and her over the top Costco. Uh-huh. Costco yeah, all is those the worst. all those aisles that are all adjacent, so hard to navigate. Yeah, because yeah. there's thirty thousand people well, I mean, in every aisle, and then you go to check out, and every <laughs> line is twenty five deep. That is true. It's not that like screw. This. I fifty one percent agree with no, you. No, since they <laughs> put really in the self checkout, the lines are way shorter. Yeah, it not is buying not it. fun. But here's the thing: yeah. I don't. Like Costco's not a quick pop in, pop out, and it's not even an every yeah. week thing. Obviously, that's the oh, it's definitely they're, not a quick the... pop in, pop out. Right. It's like, do you have three hours? But that's the point. Like the point is, you go there and you stock up a bunch of stuff, then you go back the next month. It's like, yeah. all right, do we need to go to Costco? Cool, let's go. And you know, when you go in there, that okay, I might have to wait ten minutes for a, a checkout. Ten minutes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I think it's the most I've ever waited. Really? Yeah, they're very fast. Nowadays, yeah. it's gotten better. They are very fast. Like it's one of those things where like the, the line, like if you ever go to a Chick Fil A at lunchtime, uh-huh. Uh-huh. the drive-through line is forever long. It's crazy how fast that line goes. Like they've got it down to a science. Yeah. You know, like they're really good with na- or na- uh, managing their uh, their lines at the Costco. Yeah. Same thing uh, uh, with the Chick Fil A. Same thing with Costco. Like they got that figured out. That's the whole they point. Do. Like, people got those big like uh, hand trucks full of stuff because everything's huge, you know. And you get in, then you get I'm your like, stuff, and then... where are you putting this stuff? Like, do you in your house in a mansion? <laughs> that's, like, that's a good how do you question, store right? all what? this? I don't have room to store one thing from Costco. No, we gotta, <laughs> like my house is small. <laughs> we gotta we gotta keep in mind. Ravy gets stressed out on trash day. Yeah, this I used is, to. But, this is an over the top stress in her life. Well, no, it's not because I'll never join out. Costco again and I'll never go again. I'm talking about the trash cans. Like, you, you know, what do we do? You got to mm-hmm. bring them out to the curb. That's, oh, my God. Yeah. That is what am five I years, freaking out. Takes all five day. years in the past. Oh, uh, that is okay. so in the past. Yeah. Now you're cool with it. Now you figured, you yeah. figured uh, out the stress that is absolutely. bringing the garbage I've, out. I spread uh-huh. it out over three days. Now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't do it in just <laughs> one day. Yeah. I spread it. It is a uh, long uh, process. Spread it. Uh, 877-44. Taking that wheeled <laughs> garbage can spread down out. a driveway. Woo! I would take multiple breaks. If I were yeah. You. Well, like, yeah. it was stressful before I got the litter robot. The litter robot has really aided in garbage day. That's you need to come up with, like a, uh, uh, like, a big trash can that has a seat that flips down. So you can like stop halfway, just from like yeah. the side of the house and to the curb. So you can that have was a freak the least out. Stressful part of it, and Calm just sit down. and go like, "Woo, oh my God, <laughs> this is crazy." <laughs> but you gotta agree with her on where do you store Costco stuff? Yeah, a thing of toilet paper, a thing of mayonnaise, a thing of cheese puffs, or whatever. They're in containers <laughs> that are three feet tall. Where do you put this? Yeah, crap? nobody has that space. You gotta have I, like your right. Costco shed. Right. And you know what? That's the reason nobody goes. Because where yep. where are you gonna put it? They have nowhere well, to that's put what it. I'm you have a place you, to put it. Yeah. I don't. You should do. You I have, don't. You have a garage, Ravy, that you store everything else. That's in. my gym. Okay, but you can you can have like I a shelf there. I can't put Costco cheese balls in there. Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can put yeah. toilet paper. I can't put Costco TV in there. You're being over the top. Yeah.